Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of War Thunder. Um, as you can see, i um, doing some, showing some footage of the recent floats event. Um, basically, it's an event where, well, as the name says, only float planes are really allowed. Um, for example, the PB, well, two on each side, the PBY, a PBY 5A Catalina, the one with the wheels for some reason, and the O2SU one or three for the Americans, um, and the H6K for the Japanese and the F1FM. Um, no other um, nations actually have any, uh, on their name, float planes at the moment. So, yeah, unfortunately only American Japan. Like I said, only two on each team, or two two aircraft in each lineup, sorry. Um, it's sort of mixed battle, so you have American and Japanese on each side. Now, you may basically the aim of the game is to land and capture these points um, on the near the aircraft carriers, which you do by landing near the aircraft carriers. Um, you got these air, um, planes, not planes, um, boats around them, heavy cruisers, that sort of stuff. They're hostile at first to, I think, everyone. But once you cap the point, it goes to your team, so it becomes a friendly cruiser. Um, to you and an enemy one to the enemy. Um, as you can see, everyone just tends to bomb them, so that never really helps. Um, I don't think I bombed any myself. I might have gone to bomb one or two just to get the points before anyone else bombed them. Never got round to it. You can see I'm just sort of landing the aircraft. Um, big explosion to the left as a um, carrier's taken a direct hit. Starting to sink. It's in flames. Cap in C. But, um, more about the event, um, obviously you're quite vulnerable when you're trying to land because all float planes can carry bombs, especially the PBYs and H8Ks. Um, PBY gets four 1,000 pound bombs, H8K gets two 800 kilogram bombs. Um, you can get, um, well you're just sitting there, I've just been obliterated by an F1M2 um, on takeoff. It, uh, you know, it's a small little plane but when you're capping you can't really avoid that sort of death. Um, I did s sort of skip forward a little bit I think because um, uh, it was quite a bit of a you know flight over there so I'm just sort of diving down to deal with some of the enemies. It's hard to actually tell when they're landed or not so I, I usually drop the bombs anyway because they're respawning like 40 seconds. There's not really any place where I'm going to need them that quick. Um, Ki-10 just for the AI just randomly popping up. Um, more about the aircraft themselves. Um, the O2SU and the F1FM2 are quite similar aircraft. Both float planes, both have um, single caliber machine gun in the front, um, small caliber machine gun, and both have a rear gunner. Again, pretty low caliber machine gun. Um, hey, PBYs. They don't have particularly good guns, but they have lots of bombs and quite good armour. And you've got the H8K, um, good, um, reasonably good bombs, but also has a 20mm turret in the back. Which is quite, um, well it's not so bad nowadays, but when the when I first started playing War Thunder, when it used to be tiers 1 to 20, the H8K was in tier 1 along with the biplane, so, along with the PBY, so, um, all you people complain about bomber spam today. Um, remember us who first started the game and had to deal with bomber rushes and bomber spam in tier one, <laughs> and could only stop it with um, biplanes. I mean, you know, now you can stop them with jets, um, cannon arms, aircraft. Um, try stopping a PB like ten PBYs or H H eight Ks, um, or six H six H six K. Sorry, um with um, one or two 7.7mm calibre machine guns on, you know, a tiny reserve map. Um, well, you can see I've been bad up quite badly. I've been chased by an F1M2. <laughs> sort of turning around to deal with the PBY. Um, and completely obliterated by a H6K. Um, which you can see you know, the bombs are pretty powerful. Well, the first one didn't do anything, the second one just obliterated the target. Um, in my second game, which I'll, 
probably be showing in a minute. Well, it was only from our first game, but because of the way it started, I forgot to record, so I was halfway in the battle already. I thought it'd look a bit confusing if I just started halfway through for the beginning of the video. But um, the next video I do, uh, or the next part I do use it as a gunship sort of thing. Um, managed to get a hit with my bomb, I think. Um, not much of a hit. Um, as you can see, um, Floats definitely doesn't play like any other arcade match. I mean, using the, like, like I said a minute ago, using the H6K as a gunship is usually frowned upon, but in Floats there isn't really much you, else you can do. You can try and cap things, but with the amount of bomb laden aircraft and, you know, all kinds of aircraft trying to take you down, it's quite hard. Um, see, I'm just taxiing around the enemy spawn. Some parts of the, um, mission actually remind me of um, an old game I used to play, um, Battle Stations Midway, and um, oh, another game, uh, I'm trying to remember what it was, um, Medal of Honor Pacific Rising or something like that, um, in the Pearl Harbor mission, you're just sailing around Pearl Harbor and, like, and both of the games, and you just got these hulking ships just, like, you know, huge compared to your own boat or yourself, and you're just sailing past them, like, they're just sinking, blowing up everywhere. Oh, it's just hectic. Yeah. You see there, there, that guy's basically touching the water when he was trying to take me out. Um, managed to get in the air. Heavily damaged now. Um, this was actually... Oh, I've actually run out of fuel. Um, this was actually recorded um, yesterday. Um, I think it was yesterday, um, depending on when this comes out. When the we had that patch which basically broke all the guns and made everything impossible to shoot down. Um, I can tell my elevator's broke because I've managed to take off again straight after landing and yeah it lands so hard I break the tail off so I'm just sitting there having a leisurely sit down while the plane just glides off somewhere just ready to get out short swim to shore and back to the base so that was my second match basically well yeah my second match um this is my first match I actually did um, you can see after the H8K, H6K, um, no, like I said, it would always spawn halfway through. You may see some of the same people, um, I believe, um, I can't see, yeah, made in Scotland in the background. He was in both the matches, um, he was the one who bombed me in my PBY in the next match, um, match we've just seen. Um, so I've just taken out one aircraft, um, just using the H8, H6K as a gunship, um, which again is usually frowned upon in most game modes, but in floats is pretty acceptable as far as I can tell. Pretty fun as well, just trying to just pulling up next to PBYs and other H8, H6Ks and just blasting away with 20mm cannons and 50 caliber machine guns, and it gets very hectic very fast. Um, the game is the main aim is to obviously try and cap the. Um, capture zones but um obviously once you well because of all the bombings you basically kept them um, the first one or two straight away and then you just basically try to stop the other team from capping anything else um it's not much chance to land once you've got into the aerial combat and all the bombs are dropping so h6 came in front of me drop bombs good again you're getting back pretty quick and it's quite hard to tell if the enemy's landing or not and you saw in my other one um, I actually dropped a bomb and managed to get a hit on an aircraft that was airborne so not a complete waste of time um, you know if I had dropped the bomb and missed and not drop it and turn out I could have got a hit managed to critically damage a uh, HH6K um, I don't know what that critical damage is because usually it pops up critical damage like elevators broke or something but occasionally you get Occasionally you just get critical damage and it doesn't actually say what. You can also see I've got pilot unconscious. Um, it was actually updated a while ago. Some aircraft get um, two pilots. Um, well, because ba basically what was happening, you had the B-17 with your pilot and your co-pilot. The pilot would be killed and the co-pilot would just sit there while the plane plummeted to the ground. And um, basically you wouldn't be able to do anything about it. So it was changed a little while ago so the co-pilot can take over. It is rare to kill the pilot and not kill the um, co-pilot, but it can happen that aircraft destroyed a comp. So that's a H6K down, probably the one I killed the pilot on earlier. I think my bomb damaged another aircraft. 
we're doing quite well. I think we may have won both matches. I can't quite remember. Um, I think we definitely won this one. I mean, we've got all three captains. The red bar at the top's already halfway down, so yeah, did quite well in this in these matches. Just zooming around trying to blow up all the enemies. Can't can't remember if I got shot down in this match or in the end. Um, I think I did right right near the end of the match. Um, but like I said, um, this was when the patch that um, basically broke all the cannons and machine guns was around. So obviously, like if I tried to do the same today, it'd probably go very different to this. Um, but for those of you who don't know, basically um, there was a patch brought out and. Um, it did fix a lot of things, like the year 2 can now take off without bomb load, and um, with the max bomb load, sorry. Uh, planes got um, flight model fixes, um, you can knock down trees and ground forces, but um, in, the attempt to, in the attempt to fix the... Uh, I forget the name, the bomber spam, um, basically 20mm cannons and stuff weren't doing enough damage to bombers, the damage models were all a bit mucked up, and they tried to fix it and instead made all <laughs> cannons basically useless. Um, Trying to shoot with cannons yesterday was just oh, it would be like hit and then ten sparkles a hit, then another ten sparkles, and eventually you'd get a kill. Um, yeah, things were very difficult yesterday, um, but it did make for fun floats because usually you'd be obliterated quite quickly, but instead managed to do very well. Um, I believe that it has been fixed today mostly the problems with the patch, which is good. Um, so, like I said would definitely have a different result if I tried this again today. Um, as you can see I've lost my elevators. I think I got quite close to crashing at near this point. Can't remember if I actually did. Just flying over B trying to not crash. Um, came pretty close to some mountains around here I believe. We're still winning. The enemy team are trying to cap but they're, they're just not going to do it. I mean they might cap one if they're lucky but it's basically game over for them now, it's just flying around trying to get as many kills. Um, the event does give you 20% extra silver lines and RP, um, so if you're watching this and you want to get some RP for these aircraft, um, or silver lines, then, you know, you can have fun and earn while doing it. Earn some extra points. I would definitely recommend this event to anyone. Uh, definitely one of the funner events out there. Just sort of just missing some of the trees. Sort of heading back towards B. Um, the enemy have almost cat. Well, they've managed to take C from us, but again, not going to save them. Page six K. At this point, I was checking out the battle ratings because um, I can't remember what um made me do this, but um, it turns out the Japanese actually have a slightly higher battle rating than the Americans. The um, I think it's the H six K is um a higher battle rating than the PBY, which um. So, I don't know, the PBY has better defensive armament, but the PBY has much better bombs. I think something like four £1,000 bombs, which is pretty, you know, big. So, I, I don't know what made me check, but, you know, I was a bit surprised today. It's only a tiny difference, but still, I would have thought the PBY would be quite a bit higher. I think at this point I knew I wasn't going to make it. Um, but we sort of somewhat landed... Um, yeah, we lost the town. Yeah, everything went very bumpy for the next few minutes, but um, or a few seconds, but we managed to land it. Just sort of turning ourselves into a mobile gun platform. I think that was my intention in the first place. Um, could be wrong, or it might have just been I went out of control finally. I did pick an F1M2, but it was basically the end of the match. So yeah, that was basically my day on floats or my matches on floats. Um. Wanted to put something out because I've done War Thunder in a while. I'm doing some guides for War Thunder. Um, guide on how to get RP more effectively. Uh, probably going to do something on patch 1.43 when it comes out. So, um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, it's a bit rushed, but I wanted to get something out for War Thunder. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you like these sort of videos. And leave feedback I can always do with more feedback um so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time